Hi guys, I've been joined now by Jade, another zookeeper here at Dudley Zoo, and she's in charge of looking after the gelada baboons. Hi Jade. Hi. So Jade, what can you tell us about the gelada baboons? Um, well, gelada baboons are strictly from Ethiopia in the wild, so they're not actually found anywhere else. Um, they are quite an unusual primate in that they are they are the only grazing primate that there is, so they predominantly do just eat grasses, mm -hmm. um, any vegetation they find on the ground as well. Um, so we obviously supplement that with um, letting them graze on their paddocks. They'll get hay all of the time as well, just mm -hmm. to bolt them up as well. Brilliant. I've spotted some of them, and for their chest, they're quite unusual. What's that all about? <laughs> What's that? Um, the gelida baboons are actually nicknamed the bleeding heart baboon. Um, so they've actually got a, a naked hourglass shape on their chest which um, inflames red every now and again um, and it's used for displaying. You do see a lot of other baboons have um, big red bums that they'll display with <laughs> um, but these guys because they're grazers they're actually called shuffle feeders so they'll sit on their bums all day and they'll shuffle along and pick up the grass so essentially they're sat on their bums all day. Oh. Um, so a bump to display for those guys would be absolutely pointless so they've evolved to have the patch on their chest as well to um, make it a lot more prominent for each other to see all the time. Brilliant. Mm. So what sort of things do you feed the baboons here at the zoo? Um, because they're grazers we don't actually have to give them um, a, a lot of other different things. Um, during the winter when the grass probably doesn't grow as well we'll supplement them with um, any hard leafy cabbage or cauliflower leaves, a little bit of carrot just to um, bolt them up a little bit as well. But they do get um, a primate pellet which is um, specifically designed for leaf eating is animals. That what these are and here? that's what we've got here, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're just a, a leaf a leaf eater pellet with lots of essential nutrients and vitamins in there for them. Brilliant. Um, and how old do um, baboons, the Dejar baboons, typically live till? Um, it always varies on individual um, circumstance, but they can live up to their 20s and even past that. Um, but they do take quite a long time to grow up, so they're, they're left as babies for quite a long time. So does the zoo have any breeding programmes for the baboons? We do, yeah. We have a, a breeding group here, so we've got um, a breeding male with three females. And we do actually have two babies now at the minute as well. Can we see them? We can, yes. They are in show to the public. Brilliant. They are quite a popular, popular one. So um, I know the zoo focuses very hard on enrichment and yeah. they try and replicate each animal's environment so it's like it's like they're living in the wild. Yeah. Is there anything that you do for the baboons? There's not a, no, it's not a fat lot that we have to do for our baboons. Obviously they're quite low, ma quite low maintenance because of them being grazers but we'll often give them different shaped puzzle feeders with lots of hay in, um, different hanging baskets again with the hay in which they enjoy getting um, their little hands in. Right. Um, but they've got, um, th their enclosures are quite um, quite the same as the, their natural Outdoors. environment, nice and steep and um, quite difficult for us to climb up but it's good for those. So. Do they actually sleep outdoors in the enclosures or is there like a little enclosed area where they go inside? They'll have night? their little sheds um, overnight, obviously it's nice and warm and it's nice and secure for them. Um, but they do have access outside to their paddocks quite a lot of the a lot of the day but they do enjoy coming in and it's a little bit of a routine we get them in to make sure that they're nice and healthy so we can have a look at them as well so do you like looking after the gelada baboons i do the gelada baboons are my favorite to look favorite. after yes brilliant thank you so much we've learned lots about the gelada baboon thank let's you. go meet the the babies now <laughs> The Gelada baboons live in a complex society based on family groups of up to 14 females and their young and up to four adult males. Families along with all male bands of up to 15 baboons often congregate in huge groups of around 500 animals. They live at high altitude in the mountains of Ethiopia, sleeping at night on ledges on the steep cliff faces. They are protected from the extreme cold of their mountain habitat by the characteristic cape of thick fur. Gelada baboons are the only primate species whose primary food source is grass and are known as shuffle feeders who rarely stand when grazing. Geladas use a complex mix of facial expressions and sounds to communicate with others in the group. You may see them mouth chattering as a greeting or flashing their pale eyelids as a sign of annoyance. 
Stiladas are known as bleeding heart baboons due to the bare patch of red skin on their chests. 